In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic inversions of a major triad. So I'm using C major as my example. You'll notice there's, um, we need three notes to make a C major chord. And the way we kind of arrange those notes, basically what's, what the bottom note is, is going to dictate which inversion the chord is in. So uh, I need three notes to make a C major chord, C, E, and G. And you'll notice the distance from the bottom voice to the middle voice is a third. The distance from the bottom note to the top note is a fifth. So when you have that, this is called a root position triad. Um, here we go, C, E, and G. And you can see it's stacked in thirds, C to E, E to G. And the way we label that chord is a C chord or a Roman numeral one. Um, basically, what you don't see here in parentheses is five, three. And that's just basically the distance. So C to E is a third, C to G is a fifth. Okay, but you don't really need that. That's kind of implied. Okay, so when we take a look at a first inversion chord, we're basically using the same notes, C, E, and G, except for the difference is that E is on the bottom. So instead of C, E, and G as our root position triad, we're doing E, G, and C, okay? and E is on the bottom. So this makes the chord less stable, okay? The distance from the bottom note to the middle note is a third, and the distance from the bottom note to the top note is a sixth. So you'll see it written in Roman numeral analysis as a one six chord. Um, what you don't see is the third down here. This is kind of implied. So the distance from E to G is a third, the distance from E to C is a sixth. And um, on lead sheets, you'll see it as a C chord slash with an E in the bass. Okay, it's called first inversion. Um, basically, it just means E is on the bottom or the third of the scale is on the bottom. Root position means the root of the chord is on the bottom. When we get to second inversion, this basically means the fifth of the scale is on the bottom. So um, G is gonna be on the bottom and then you need the rest of the notes in the chord, C and E. Okay, this is the most unstable of all the, the, the triad inversions. So from the distance between the bottom note to the middle voice is a fourth, and the distance from the bottom note to the top is a sixth. So we sometimes call it a six four chord. Okay, so um, it's a one six four chord in this case with G, which is the fifth note of the scale on the bottom. And so basically, you know, it's, it's depends, you know, it's root position. If it's the scale degree number one on the bottom, it's a first inversion chord. If the third degree of the scale um, is on the bottom and then it's a second inversion chord, if the fifth degree of the scale is on the bottom. Um, so yeah.